thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. So talk to me a little bit about you know, what role AI and machine learning ultimately plays in the payment space. Um, AI and machine learning actually has, is, is revolutionizing a lot of areas. And in the payment space, there are a few areas where they are already used heavily. And mostly regarding uh, fraud detection, for example, as well as uh, various kinds of threat detection, type of security. Uh, in terms of fraud, if one could essentially look at a lot of data in a very short amount of time, especially when a transaction is being executed, you know, think of um, an online payment transaction being executed, and if looking at the data, one could identify the fraud as it's happening, so you don't even complete the transaction. Uh, what that means is you can reduce the false positives and improve user experience, and also help the bottom line of the company performing the transaction. And this essentially requires looking at you know, thousands of data items in real time, you know, within maybe a 200 to 300 millisecond period, but also uh, make some uh, changes to the database as the transaction is happening, so a subsequent transaction can now be matched against what happened just now. So how will AI and ML ultimately unlock more value for customers? Um, one of the things about AI and ML is it allows um, the uh, real-time monitoring of user behavior and the ability to make decisions in real time which are more accurate. So what typically happens is one looks at a lot of uh, activities that have happened over time and analyzes it you know, using analytics tools and so on, generate models of what should be happening in real time, and then apply the model in real time as the events are unfolding. And the more accuracy with which one can make a, a particular determination in terms of identifying a threat or uh, figuring out fraud, uh, you can immediately impact the business um, kind of, uh, the business uh, objectives, so to speak, in terms of both the top line, you keep more revenue that you actually uh, make, you don't make bad transactions, you know, all of that happens in real time, day in and day out. And what role will customer experiences play with the future of banking and financial services? Uh, one of the most important things that I think it's, it's happened, uh, it's happening in the US, but it's also happened in uh, other parts of the world like India and China, is people have uh, a relationship to payment systems, which are a lot more personal these days from their mobile devices, but also they do it uh, several times during the day, every day. Now, as financial services, you know, companies which have been around for potentially hundreds of years, you know, at least a hundred years or more, um, they have a lot of existing customers, but the new generation of customers uh, are used to a different way of operating with these. Um, companies. And, and this is somewhere, I think, this is some place where there's a huge opportunity for all the large companies to kind of bridge the gap to create new kinds of interactions with customers. And in what ways will this ultimately create, you know, more economic value for customers? I mean, one way is essentially you can now use the amount in your bank account directly. You know, think of, uh, for example, uh, a use case uh, we have been involved in involved with in Europe, where small euro transactions can now uh, be kind of um, transferred from one European account to another of, of the sort of a few euros. The cost of such a transaction needs to be in a fraction of a euro cent. So once you make it uh, so easy for people to transfer 24 by 7, small amounts to anybody, and the money directly comes out of the bank account, you just reduce a lot of friction in terms of setting up uh, secondary wallets and other tertiary systems, and also um, make it more likely for everybody to use it. And how has Aerospike specifically adjusted to account for these consumer demands ultimately? I mean, to some extent, Aerospike is a database which builds, uh, kind of which provides the ability to uh, to deliver you know, very high throughput, low latency transactions. 
while also providing infrastructure uh, kind of implementation pieces which enable us to run it 24 by 7, typically on clouds or on multiple data centers and so on. The most important thing that Aerospike does uh, in terms of the applications that use us is the reliability that the system provides so that uh, essentially anybody running such a system uh, can sleep at night, so to speak, while all of the customers are using it because you cannot afford a loss of service and also you cannot afford a reduction in customer experience. So both of those uh, Aerospike can do while keeping the TCO or the cost of ownership low enough that you can now deploy it at scale. Great. Well, Srini, thank you so much for your insights. This has been excellent. Thank you, Shannon. It's been a pleasure. From Medici Studio, I'm Shannon Rosick.